Hello. In today's video, we'll be doing a drip effect. If you see this one, this is what we'll try to recreate. So in order to do this, we will just add a page and we'll add a text. Let's add uh, a color. Let's go still go for blue. So, so there's blue. We can make it bigger. And we'll change the color. Um, if you know that to change the color, you just go up here to the text color, click it, and change it to any blue that you'd like. Let's choose that blue. Okay. So we've done that now. Okay. Next, we need to put a drip effect. This is fairly simple and quite fast actually. So you go to the elements okay, and you look for drip. Click on Drip. Now, if you have a pro account, you can choose any of these. Um, if you have a free one, just look for one that doesn't have this crown. Okay, so let's try this one. This one looks a bit more drippy, as they say. So let's click that. Let's see how it goes. So put it there. Okay. You can change the color. So what you do is, if you can see here, it, it shows the color black, right? So you click that. Now Canva has a cool feature where you can actually match to this color. You can either choose any of these colors or you click on the plus sign. You go to the dripper, the dropper. You click that. Now if you know the hex number, you can put the hex number. But you click that and you go to any of these, like the white or the blue. So we need the blue. So we click blue and that changes to the exact same color. Okay, so now we've got that. Now what we can do is we can click that and you duplicate it. Move it here. Click it once more. And you can move it like that. Okay. Now you may want to make this a bit bigger maybe to show that it's dripping. So you just move it. If you can see, I'll bring it closer a bit. You can see some white spots here, so you just adjust it so it's not, and this is aligned here, so it looks as if it's dripping from there. Now, if you look up here, what I did was, I also did the same kind of effect, but coming from this here. So again, that's very easy. What you can do is just, you can, okay, like over here, let me just adjust this a bit. Okay, you can... Duplicate that, bring it up, bring it really small, and you can do that. You can duplicate that again, and you can bring it up here. It's dripping. I mean, you can go. As crazy as you want, really. There, maybe this one you wanted a bit more. You know, it's it's up to you. So basically, this is it. I told you it was fast. So we've got a trip effect. Okay. Like here, I've done it here and here and here. I mean, you can do as as many as you want. You can do it very uh, as a subtle effect. Or you can have it a bit more dramatic. And that's it. The drip, drip effect is quite easy. Now, um, if you if you look here, see if you see here, you know, you can see that it's um, a bit more smoother. So all you have to do is just adjust these, okay? You can adjust it to this is just a matter of adjusting to get what you want. Okay. That's it, really. Now, if you want that, for example, let's say you want this, you don't want that so sharp. So what you do is maybe you duplicate that and you just Do 
do that. So it gives the impression that it's it's in the process of melting, so that it droops. Okay, so I hope you like this today's video. I hope you like this tutorial. If you do, please do comment, subscribe, and hit hit the notification bell icon so that you'll be notified when I do more videos. Bye for now.